Also tonight, President Biden announcing his move to cancel some student debt, student debt for millions of borrowers nationwide, keeping a campaign promise he made in the 2020 election. The president saying working and middle class families will get some much needed breathing room. The move cancels between $10,000 and $20,000 in federal loan debt. But despite the cheering from former students who have the debt, there's also been some sharp criticism. Many Democrats to the left of Mr. Biden were hoping for more. The NAACP praising his announcement, but adding, we got a ways to go. Republicans uh, minority leader Mitch McConnell calling the move astonishingly unfair and a slap in the face to every family who sacrificed to save for college and every graduate who paid their debt. Well, here's who qualifies for this student loan forgiveness. For individuals earning less than $125,000 a year or couples making $250,000, up to $10,000 will be forgiven. Low-income borrowers who received Pell Grants will get up to $20,000 in debt forgiven. But the forgiveness plan only applies to those who attended public colleges or HBCUs. Biden also wants to cap loan payments at 5% of a person's monthly income instead of the current 10%. Tonight, RJ Shakur looks into how the president's move will affect Mid-Southerners. President Biden has faced pressure since making a campaign promise to provide broader student loan relief, and today he took action. Here in the Bluff City, those we spoke to see this plan as a stepping stone to a more stable future. If I had to sum it up in one word, I would say relieved. That is the reaction of many today after President Biden announced his plan to forgive student loan debt. Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 and outstanding federal student loans. In addition, students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. If the president's plan survives legal challenges, it will provide relief for more than 43 million people. I think it's an extremely positive thing for Memphis and, and really the many areas of the South where people struggle to pay for a college degree. And um, the, we all know that uh, investment in human capital is the way to, to ensure your future. Though Tennessee residents are less likely to have student loan debt, their average unpaid balance is often higher. Here in Shelby County, the average borrower owes about $38,000 with an average monthly payment of about 300. While some aren't happy about this plan, many see potential relief as a step towards a more financially free future. My nephew, he's got school debt, and um, I've got a lot of friends that have, you know, just enormous school debt, and it would um, take that burden off of them. Borrowers are hopeful that this loan forgiveness will allow them to invest and redirect their money into purchasing assets. So that would be like a great help for me to be able to take some of that money that I was uh, spending on student loans uh, payments and go ahead and try to save and, and build for my family. Going forward, I do think that it gives me more money to invest. Um, I do, I'm not a homeowner at the moment, but now I know that there will be something that can be relieved. Now I probably can up the amount of money I'm willing to spend on a home. Now there are critics on both sides saying this plan doesn't go far enough, pushing for a more permanent solution, asking the president or Congress to draft legislation making college tuition itself more affordable. Back to you.